I don't know if I can get the camera low enough. I'm going to try. I move over. Can, can you see her? Valkyrie, hello. Oh my god, those eyes. Demon cat. Demon cat. You open the interwebs. Okay. <laughs> she's not con so you're just saying you're she's not concerned about this revelation. Her eyes are like lit up. But she have the laser eyes? Yeah. <laughs> She wants to bang, and I can't swish her because she won't let me. <laughs> if that be a flash hush. Do you like my headdress? I do. It's a very floofy headdress. It is. I, I know last week I was all like, everything's happening. Well, this week sort of calmed down a little bit. Hey, that's better. But you do a degree. It feels like it did. Somewhat. Although... These little Ooh, la, la. So the outdoor cats we've been taking looking at for the uh the uh community strays that we're looking after. We noticed they were around and like, oh, they might be hungry. Let's feed them. So we started getting them dry food, feeding them out there. <laughs> so last week we went to a grocery store. We got a big bag of, you know, store brand, because right, watch your money and whatnot. It's like this will be fine, right? Chicken and turkey. Cats like chicken and turkey, right? Big old bag. 26 pound bag. We're like, this will hold them for like a couple months. We brought it home and I noticed that started giving it to them. And number one, we didn't see them around as much for a few days. And number two, the bowls weren't getting any less full. They've, they've gotten a bit spoiled. I had to go back on <laughs> Sunday and get fish flavored. And then when I got home, they're like, oh, yes. And they're dug right into it. They appear. My fear rolls will eat pate, white food. If I put out pate, Senior Scratchy will turn his nose up at it. They don't know how like, good they like got it. These little little shulalats. She does. She she really does. She is the happiest little cat. Like, she has never once tried to run back outside. I think she knows exactly how good she has it. She's like, no, no, no. I, I. Does she? I wound up. Like, she's like little orphan Annie. I think I'm gonna like it here. Each week, gather in the radio dead air audience, go on the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible shit, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck Bro. Yep. And, um, we're gonna start in Austria. Okay. Austria is famous for a lot of things. But uh, it's really famous for one guy. About, oh, 60, 70 years ago. One guy in particular. And as a result of that one guy, they got a little, uh, shall we say, skittish about the subject. Which makes this incredibly stupid. Two people charged after Hitler speeches blared on train intercom in Austria. Two people were charged in Austria for allegedly playing speeches by Adolf Hitler via the loudspeaker system of a train running from uh, Bregenz to Vienna. Two suspects who were not identified. Also blasted the Heil Hitler Nazi salute via the train's intercom several times on Sunday. Authorities tracked them down by analyzing video from the train camera. Spreading Nazi propaganda is a criminal offense in Austria. Yeah, they don't really fuck around with that stuff. 
right? That's like it's, it's not like it's not like here where you can be like first spirits, no, 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 no. They, they, they have. Let's just say they have baggage over the matter. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, two are also suspected of responsibility for two other incidents last week on trains running from uh, St. Poulton to Vienna, in which recordings were played over the train intercom. Two trains were manipulated to broadcast a nonsensical, confusing mix of children's songs and old flawed announcements. Suspects are believed to open the train conductor's intercom cabins with a key all train employees owned and played the recordings. Um... Maybe not use a old style key for for that sort of thing. Maybe. Maybe use a different like a code or some shit to get into the thing. Cause you take I the feel key. like the code is easier to track than the key. Yeah, but you take the key, you go down to Lowe's, you got yourself a copy, and suddenly Hitler's on the train. Oh, I see what you mean. I thought you meant the criminals, not the... Yeah. Yeah. This, you know, maybe, maybe use a code instead. Maybe use something you can change up now and again. Well, well like, specifically to play that stuff on train. Yeah. There's, the, there's levels to it. There's layers. There's layers going on. There's layers going. Like, mother... But you know, you have lived, if you live in Austria, you know. Don't, 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 don't lick the rocks. Don't do Nazi shit, right? You know. They, they take it a bit personally. Like, it's not just a matter of, oh, you kids. It's a matter of, you're going to jail now. Enjoy. House in near, nearby Leonding, where Hitler lived as a teenager, is now used to store coffins for the town cemetery. Oh, They're yeah, they f they padded the fuck out of this article. That's the best part. And go to the end, there's like, Hitler was born in Austria, which the Nazis annexed into the Third Reich in 1938. It just goes on and on. They're like, how can I pad this fucking word count? Yeah. <laughs> it just goes on and on and on. Little Hitler facts here. There you go. Oh, fun facts about Hitler. Who doesn't love those? Yeah. It's... You fucking... What did you think was the fuck gonna happen? Voles. My... Bet you any fucking thing they did it for some kind of you goddamn YouTube channel. It's always with the fucking Probably. YouTube channel. Fucking YouTubers, man. I know, right? We suck. Um... This is another just absolute stupid. I'm a little mad at this one. This comes from about your neck of the woods too. I'm I'm mad at I'm I'm mad because poor pupper. DUI suspect in Colorado tried. I'm mean, good to you. I'm gonna give you the link. There it is. There you go. Uh, tried to switch seats with his dog when pulled over. It's not gonna. That's not gonna work. Yeah, bro. Springfield, Colorado. <laughs> it appears a man suspected of DUI in Colorado was trying to get out of the charges by putting his dog behind the wheel of the car he was driving. Springfield Police Department. It's just always a Springfield somewhere. Shared details of the incident on their Facebook page. According to police, the suspect was pulled over in the Springfield area at about 11:30 p.m. Saturday. He was reportedly driving 52 in a 30 mile per hour zone. Now, I, I don't know how. Look, you drive fast as fuck. I was on the highway today. I was a pretty aggressive driver in New York here. People zoom the fuck past me. People in Colorado drive fast as fuck. It's a little scary. I don't, I, you're not in America, so the miles per hour thing might not mean anything to you. 30 mile an hour is the. The, the limit they set for like residential and school zones and shit. Hell, school yeah. no school zones go down to like fifteen when they're actually kids present. That's one of those where it's like if you're driving that fast, chances are you have a good odds of hitting something fleshy and full of blood. 
Uh, the driver attempted to switch places with his dog, who was in the passenger seat. As the uh, pl- uh as the police officer approached and watched the entire process, failed an exit in the passenger side of the vehicle, and claimed he was not driving. This feels very like. Andy from Parks and Rec. Bad dog. Bad dog. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't know, officer. I, I, you know, we've been doing obedience training. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> the fuck? Please send the suspect. Like, how, drunk, how drunk do you have to be to think that's a good idea? Hey. Hey, Sparky. I need you to take one for me, man. I can't. I can't get another one. I got like three points on my license, man. I can't. You got. We got it. You can just. It's just okay. It's okay. It's your first time. The let me see on you. It'd be good. Also, like you're a dog. You're a dog. I don't even think that there's laws <laughs> about dogs driving. Like they got nothing on you, man. You're good. We said the suspect who wasn't identified also has two active warrants for his arrest. Out of Pueblo, Colorado. Suspect was charged with DUI, speeding, resisting arrest, and driving under suspension. Oh, great. He was on a suspended license. Great. That's all of the... Poor dog. But you know who has no driver's license? You don't. The dog. I, I... Your license might be suspended. But the dog doesn't even have one. They need to find him somebody better. I hope. But they need to find the dog somebody better to live. I mean, I feel like they're going to have to because this yeah. guy's going to jail. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You know, is the dog okay? Yes, the dog is okay. Ain't no rule says the dog can't drive. Yes, actually, there are, in fact, several rules that say a dog cannot drive. Uh, Just more than a few. Let's say the dog. Yeah. The dog. So, like, the laws of physics and the way a dog is built. It's just, it's just not really plausible. It's not a plausible lie. You want, you want your lies to be believable. Yeah. So. Ah, uh, next one, Richmond. Um. Oh, for I don't know how, like, there are, like, recurring themes that people keep trying. I don't know if it's, like, built into us as a species, or it's things people keep doing over and over. Like, number one, attempting to escape the police by swimming. Keeps happening yeah. over and over. They think, oh, this will work. Running into the woods is another one. They think, they'll never find me here. And, of course, an all-time classic here. Climbing into the fucking ceiling. We had one of these last week. Suspect was arrested after falling through the ceiling of a Richmond store last week, landing right in front of police. (laughs) Richmond Royal Canadian Mounted Police officers responded to a call about, quote, strange noises coming from inside a mobile phone center near number three in Leslie Roads. At 11 p.m. on May 6th, a 50-year-old woman from Vancouver. uh, Damn, I, you, okay, I'm almost that, and you could not get me to climb up to do the shit. I, I, man, I don't, I gotta, I don't even want to get up there to climb, clean the gutters, not even much less get away from the fucking cops. Um, hiding in the ceiling, fell through, and landed in front of officers while they were searching the store. The woman, who is known to police was arrested, and multiple cellular SIM cards were recovered. Ledge Seif was not seriously injured and refused medical assistance. And you know you know she's fine if you're in Canada and you're refusing medical assistance because ain't nobody could charge you for it. Um. So, yeah, I... The ceiling is not your point of egress. Oh. You're, you're not... It's not... It's not... It's not that sturdy. No, it's not. 
It's not built for bearing weight. The, you know what the problem is? We call it a crawl space. Yeah. Everybody calls it a crawl space. It's not a crawl space. They're like, I can crawl around in there. The ceiling is just there to hide all the shit inside the ceiling. Yeah. The ceiling it exists to, so you're not looking at pipes and stuff. Yeah. That, that's, that, that there, it, it's, it. it's not like the floor. The floor, you actually put all your weight on. The ceiling, that's just fucking tiles and shit. You know? Yeah. It's like, are you a raccoon? You can, you can hang out up there if you're a raccoon. Are you not a raccoon? Get the fuck out of the ceiling. <laughs> like, where are you? Where are you thinking you're going to go? Wow, that's really speciesist of you. I didn't, I didn't realize you were such a fucking bigot. Maybe. No, you just, you just weigh more than a raccoon and ceilings are scary. Where are, where is the exit? Where do you think you're running? guess the idea is to wait them out and then eventually they'll be like well i guess no one's here and leave and then you're home free but they'll never think to look in the ceiling cool unless think... you keep moving around or you know every it's it's kind of it's it's really easy you just get a broomstick a step ladder you push up a tile you look around up there shine the flashlight where are you gonna go? I mean, even the vo even the Velociraptors in Jurassic Park were able to do that, right? Well, not the flashlight, but yeah, but they're not good. The broom, but yeah, no thumbs. Thank God. So you don't even need thumbs to look up there. Next one is uh... there's. There's something about bigotry that it goes hand in hand with rank stupidity and an incurious nature. I mean, yeah. This one thought they had an ironclad plan to stop the foreign peoples. Okay, I was going to say, was the plan commit a crime and blame it on a black guy? Because... No. No, no. It's just, oh, for fuck. Former postal worker convicted of mail fraud. Mail fraud, you say? That sounds pretty intelligent. Wait for it. Wait, 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 wait for it. Do you think if anybody would know how to properly commit mail fraud? Federal jury convicted a Salt Lake City woman and former express mail clerk. United States Postal Service for delaying and destroying immigration mail that was intended for delivery. For the court documents. Oh, bitch. The, the evidence presented at trial, uh, Diana K. Molyneux, who was working at a U United States Postal Service plant, the processing and delivery center in Salt Lake City, uh, working the night shift, Molyneux sorted and processed express and priority mail intended to be delivered locally and dispatched to Reno, Nevada. A number of immigration mailers from the United States Citizen and Immigration Service had gone missing in the fall of 2017. Other mail clerks reported to supervisors they had found it in the mail in places that were outside the normal delivery system, tampered with, or placed at a location for shredding. As a result of these reports, a criminal investigation was initiated between 2018 and June 2018. Molyneux was captured on camera digging through areas of pre-sorted mail. Camera footage showed Molyneux retrieving and setting aside priority immigration mail. It was never returned to its proper location for dispatch. You work in a place that is made of cameras. Yeah. Quite. I... The, I think they actually, the bricks are cameras. <laughs> the, con the air is cameras. The air is cameras. The concrete, cameras. The wiring, cameras. Everything, cameras. Yeah. 
And yeah, you like, thought how many how many fucking lives did this person ruin? Probably quite a Because if you lose your immigration court date, you're fucked. And the thing about this that really is superly made it stupid. Um if you even sneeze wrong at the United States mail, that is immediately a fucking felon. That is yeah. right all just jumped all the way up to the top of the chart. You yep. fucked. You did not get to fuck with the mail. Yeah. And and like you fucked with the mail and federal courts. Yep. So that's two. That is two different federal uh, departments you fucked with at the same time on camera. It's not like it's not like you were like a random person off the street who wandered in and is like, oh wow, this is a good idea. You worked there. You gotta know, right? Like every retail job I've ever had, everybody knew where the blind spots on the cameras were. Not not to do shit like this, but so you could like check your phone. Or cry. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, but like, so we were so aware of the cameras that we knew where the camera's blind spots work. Yeah, I mean, it's the whole point of having those is so people don't do shit like this. Thank God for the stupid, I guess. Right. You, you're like just simply putting all like. All of it, right on evidence, right there. How did you not go, this is the perfect plan. They'll never stop me. I'm I'm a super villain now. Really, just like how many fucking lives did she ruin? Hate humans. Asshole. Meanwhile, this little cat has fallen asleep and is just cooing in her sleep behind me. And it's so freaking cute. And you can't hear it. Ours are chasing each other, so. Next up, this one's from my deck of the woods. South Carolina. Fuck, South Carolina. Points for creativity. I will give it to them. Points for creativity. But if you've got a creative way to avoid legal entanglement, you got to commit to the bit. you got to commit to the bit. Two facing charges in South Carolina after drugs found in rubber pregnancy belly. The photo is... Yeah, I love the cop there being like, huh? Huh? Uh, look at Biff. Look at that. Any, any day now. Anderson County Sheriff's Office has said two police are facing drug charges following a traffic stop. According to the Sheriff's Office, deputies initiated traffic stop along I-85 while conducting proactive patrol. Not only knows what that means. Deputies pulled over Anthony Miller. Good. That probably doesn't good. And uh, Samantha Mitchum. Police deputy said the first red flag began when the two gave conflicting information about her due date. Which said Mitchum realized deputies were becoming more suspicious of the conflicting story. She took off running and drugs fell from the fake rubber stomach. Deputies collected more than 1,500 grams of cocaine. You see, lady, what you're supposed to do? We're broke. Man, that's powder? <laughs> you are incredibly, incredibly dehydrated. <laughs> you need to drink Gatorade immediately. So, it, the thing you do is, if you're trying to pull this shit off, if you're trying to pull this shit off, okay, you have got to be ironclad committed to it. Yeah. Like, how dare you 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 got to make the, the idea is you make the police so uncomfortable with the idea of fucking with you that you get past it. You have got to have the nerve to embarrass the fuck out of another human being. You don't just take off you don't take off running. You start faking contractions. 
or you're like, I'm going to call my lawyer, I'm going to call my mom, I'm going to call my doctor. You, you just, how dare you? How fucking dare you? The blah, blah, blah. You just go, you rattle off a lit. You give them hell. You don't be like, oh, fuck. That's, that's. But dare you say such things about our little McKinsleyana? <laughs> 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 it's probably it's probably a real fucking name. It's probably a real fucking. It's... I just how they number in it somewhere. What? And it probably is a number in it somewhere. Probably is a number. An apostrophe. Because <laughs> just you have got to sell it. This is how crime works. You've got to sell it. You can't just be like fucking run. Yeah. That's that's not. You're bad at this. Right. And you might want to secure the belly a little better so you don't burst fifteen hundred grams of cocaine on the side of the road. Congratulations! It's a felony. Like you probably could have just used some spirit gum to seal that a little better. Yeah, baby. Oh, Jesus Christ. You can't pregnant. I don't. I I have had a few friends of mine have been pregnant over the years. Pregnant women don't run real quick. No. That's kind of a tip off right there. Yeah. That's all right. We got one more this week. This is what happened. Oh, bye, fun. And then if you back like nothing happened, that's how cats work. <laughs> you go, oh, you're going, you're going back. Hey. This last okay. one. He... The last one this week is, uh, why? Why would you fucking, yeah, of all the Of all the options, the makes, the models, everyone you could choose from, why the fuck did you choose to steal this goddamn thing? Man arrested after stealing five-ton military vehicle, leading police on a highway chase in Maryland. Maryland man was arrested after allegedly stealing a five-ton military vehicle at a leading police on a chase on Friday night. Hartford County Sheriff's Office said in a news release that Michael D. Stevens II, 38, stole a privately owned 1986 923A five-ton military vehicle from a residence in Bel Air, Maryland. I'm sorry, privately owned? Someone had a privately owned military flatbed. Why? Like, the three shells of Funko Pops. Useless little chunks of plastic. But still I ask the why. Vehicle was later seen in Bel Air, reportedly entered onto I-95. Oh, shit. If you're not in America, you have to understand, I-95 is one of our biggest interstates. It goes from the northern border to the bottom of fucking Florida. It runs the... Literally whole... runs all the way up the East Coast. It is the dick vein of America. Yep. And... That that is like super high fucking speed. What's the speed limit? Guess. Yeah. What's the speed limit? Keep up. Yeah. Deputies from the Special Operations Division of the Sheriff's Department's Southern Precinct and other law enforcement agencies began pursuing the vehicle down the interstate. Authorities deployed multiple stop sticks, but could not disable the vehicle. Well, no. I don't know how well you kind of made for that. I don't know how well you can see those giant ass, like, like four foot high tires on the goddamn truck. And there's like two of them per axle. Yeah. 
it's well i say i guess there's always two of them, like two of them on, on both sides of the axle because every every i guess every axle has to have two wheels or it doesn't work very well yeah generally you yeah. like to have two but that's that is better that way that is one of the it's a it's a they, they designed that thing to drive through that shit and keep going yeah during the chase the suspect crashed into several other vehicles no injuries were reported. Eventually, the vehicle came to a stop later in Baltimore, more than 20 miles from Bel Air. Uh, then police say the suspect left the vehicle and fled on foot. Deputy was able to safely apprehend him, bring him to the Hartford County Detention Center. According to the Hartford County Sheriff's Office, the suspect had been released from the detention center just before stealing the vehicle. Dude, you fucking idiot. Like, I'm sorry if you don't have a ride home. <laughs> but this is not the solution to that problem. Jesus Christ, you fucking idiots. Like, okay, you are just out. Out of jail. Fine, you're going to steal a vehicle? Okay, you pick this one. Right. You, you you pick up all the this you pick this fucking thing. Not not something that would blend in. Not a Camry. Not maybe a late model Volvo. Maybe a Toyota. Literally, literally any other car. Anything. Except maybe a Tesla, because you know those things explode. But no, you pick this. Now, admittedly, they had trouble stopping you. But then you decided, okay, now I'm a run. But, like, what was the long-term plan? Right. Because there's nowhere to stash that thing. No, you are the sore thumb. Yeah. Just completely. There's, like, it's not like anybody's, even if you weren't involved in this shit, you go, hey, look at that fucking thing. Everyone is paying attention to you. Pulling the plates off is not going to help. <laughs> this is like this is not low profile. <laughs> Fuck. Now, mind you, I'm sure it's pretty roomy in there. But it's fucking. And it's got a truckload of God knows what. I see wooden posts yeah. as a fucking thing. And then, of course, he did the standard, when you're caught, try to run away from the police out of the vehicle. That's, yeah. that's that, that never worked. They've, they've kept up with you all this time in the vehicle, but clearly once you're on foot, they'll be stymied. You'll, you'll, you'll be more nimble that way. Yeah. It's like it's like in Transformers. Some of the Transformers have have little robots that attach to the big robots. So you're like, well, the little robot will have a better chance. It's more nimble. Get away. No, it's not how it works. You, you're not you're not a little robot. You're you're a dumbass. It's, really, it's a little grace when you think about it. What? Well, like the little robots that are attached to the big robots. Yeah. Do they share a consciousness. Some of them turn into their heads. Yeah. Rick, honestly, Transformers is a franchise I've always found weirdly upsetting. <laughs> because there's just so much about it that doesn't add up. There's like five guys can stick their asses together and become like a big guy. Yeah. And all... Some of them, some of them could turn into the, the, the five people together, and then one of them turns into the gun for everybody else. Shit's weird. Yeah. So that franchise a little upset. So just the the first thing we've learned, if you're going to be stealing a vehicle, understand inconspicuous, low profile. Low profile. Yes. Fucking feel like a fucking Nissan or a Kia or some shit. Ain't nobody gonna notice those goddamn things. 
Yeah. Like, I'm, I I don't know how the people be like, yeah, it's a late model Chevrolet sedan, uh, probably era uh, 97 to 99. How the fuck? Just like, it's a fucking car, as far as I'm, I'm like, that's a car. <laughs> that's a truck. You're if you, like, the alerts on the highway with the Meekin model, and I'm like, dude, I would love to help you, but if you don't give me the plate number... You put five silver cars in a row and ask me which one's the Buick. My life depended on it. Be on I the lookout for it. Out. Be on the lookout for a chartreuse Ford Focus. What? Yeah. But like, fuck. I didn't know what that shit is. Um, we've learned this week. Uh, that, uh, if, if you are trying to put one over on the cops, you've got to commit to the bit. Yeah. Sell that shit. Because otherwise they'd be like, oh, you're going to party. Um, we have learned that maybe, just maybe, don't commit federal felonies in a room that is made of cameras. I, did, did you not understand what admissible evidence means? Try not to be such a fucking terrible person. Right? Really? Right? Like, I've got a clever plan. No, you don't. You're dumb shit. Thank God. We've learned that um, the crawl space is misnamed. Remember that shit going forward. Uh, we've learned that... Uh, you're not going to get the cops to believe your dog was speeding. If that's your only option there, you're fucked. But he did commit to the bit. He did. True, he did. He held to it. It was just a really ill-conceived bit. Well, that's what drunk will do to you. Yeah. And finally, we've learned this week, if you're living in one of those countries in the world where, oh, Hitler did a bag... Maybe don't try to prank people with Hitler. Not a Hitler in the just, box, okay? Just fucking Rickroll like everybody else, dude. <laughs> Nobody believes, no one will even be mad about that. If you just Rickroll the train, nobody's even gonna be mad. It's just, I've got Hitler in my head singing, fucking, never gonna give you up. It's not okay. <laughs> Never going to give you up. Never going to let you down. I'm going to hell. I'm going to fucking like hell. 